you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide today. I'm gonna be going over, as you guys see by the title, how to get potentially either two free nats for free from the Peyton Manning set or Peyton Manning for extremely cheap out of the set. So, as you guys know, I did do a video similar to this about a week ago going over the Ray Lewis set. Obviously, prices are slightly different, players are different. So, in the last set for the Ray Lewis set, you kind of wanted the Master for cheap, not so much the Nats. This one, you kind of want the Nats for cheap and not so much Peyton Manning because obviously the demand on Ray Lewis is a lot higher, which is weird because his price was so cheap. But the demand on Peyton Manning is not nearly as high, so the Nats are actually very important. In the original Ray Lewis set, we didn't really want Cam or Earl Thomas that much, although Tyler Lockett was very demanded. But on the other side, Peyton Manning, we actually really do like the Ward, the Sue, and the Travis Frederick. I actually picked up two of them. They're on my team right now, as you see, but my overall going up, almost at 91 now. But guys, so far, this method is working pretty great. I did do it for the other one. Um, I went over that, and a lot of you guys really loved it. So I'm remaking this video for the Peyton Manning one. I'm going to go over all the math. I got my calculator out and ready to go for this video. Hopefully, we can get this down to as cheap as possible. I'm pretty sure when all is said and done with the math, you'll understand everything I'm trying to say. It all works. You guys will see it in video. I will demonstrate all the numbers for you guys. But before we get into the video, boys, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family. Boys, we're so close to 11K. We're like 150 subscribers away. So everyone watching, smash that sub button, come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys plan to do. Would you rather get Peyton Manning for cheap or do you prefer to get the, the, the two nats for free? It's up to you. Personally, I think it works great because I think Sue isn't that demanded. So you guys kind of want the other two nats, but I'll go into all that in a second. That's kind of what I plan to do. That is what I actually did. I actually did do this set earlier. So I'll show you exactly how I did it. But don't forget to like the video, boys. You guys have been killing it with the support as of late. Smash the like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. You guys have been killing it. Plenty of likes, plenty of everything, comments, support. You guys have been all over the place. I love the interaction. Helps the channel out a ton. So if you guys are OGs, you guys are supporters, help it out. Drop a like. Now, boys, let's get into this video. So, first things first. For all you who clicked on this video and have no idea what I'm talking about, the set is over here in Most Feared Item Sets. You come over to Scary Masters, and you go over to Most Feared Paid Manning. So, obviously, we did it originally with the Most Feared Master Lewis. See, now, in this set, the reason it was so different was because you kind of wanted to get Ray Lewis for cheap rather than keep the Nats because Earl Thomas and Earl Thomas and Cam are okay but they weren't great and Ty Lockett was good but not great now on the other hand this said Denzel Ward is amazing Travis Frederick's amazing Sue's pretty good although I don't think I'd want him because he's a right end but you quite honestly could use all three Nats on your teams right now but Peyton Manning he's pretty much just a he's probably he's pretty much a, co a copy of Andrew Luck without speed so Andrew Luck's kind of the better card he's a copy of most pocket passes right now that also seems to have more speed and athleticism than him so I wouldn't really risk losing my mobility mobility for a guy who's not that much more accurate than any other quarterbacks that are already in the game at his uh style so personally would I recommend going for Peyton or the Nats like I said I picked the Nats I think Frederick's a beast I think Ward's a beast Sue's a beast when you have him Nat and Tyson to power them up so I powered up Ward and I powered up Frederick I don't know what I'm gonna do with Sue yet, but I'll go over all that. So let's go over the ins and outs of this first. So first thing you wanna do is get your house rules done. Hopefully you guys are working on those. House rules guarantees you one of these free players. You don't have to, but for this method to work properly, you should probably get it done. The house rules will give you one free. It doesn't matter who you get. So once you acquire that one free, it greatly reduced cost. Cause each car goes to about 300K. These do go for more considering they're more worthwhile to most people. Now remember guys, I haven't really brought this up too much yet, but the price of most of these cards should come up after the promo. So you don't have to sell the master right away. You could hold on to the master and actually make even more coins. So I'm actually, I did this set. I'm holding on to Peyton Manning, which I'll get into in a little bit on why. But just keep that in mind. You don't have to sell the master right away. Let me go into the set now. So I just did this earlier. Each card, you can get them for about 300K. Just sit there long enough. You get each for 300K. That's the price we're going to be working with, 300K. And then I think Sue goes for a little under 300K. So it evens out to pretty much everything at the end. He's 280. He's 300. And then Denzel Ward's 305. It all evens out to about, let's just go with 300K. You actually might be a little bit cheaper, but we'll round it to 300K. So, assuming you get your one house rule player, right? You get your one house rule player, you only, need to, you only need two of these to finish the set. So, we'll say it's 600K for both. To make it the cheapest as possible, I recommend you take Denzel Ward or Travis Frederick as your guy, as Sue is cheaper, which in that case, it won't even be 600K. It'll be more like 570, 580 if you go, if you take one of them. So, let's go with 580. In that case, that you do take one of them, you follow that advice. So now, it's 582 to the set. Now you're gonna get Peyton Manning back and his power. His power goes for about 15K, give or take. So subtract 15K from the 580, right? 
15,000. So you're working with 565,000 coins so far. You have three, you have a Frederick, a Sue, and a Ward. Paid Manning is power. We just subtract the power. Now, this is where it comes into this is where it comes into play. First, I'm gonna give you guys the route where you guys keep the Nats. And then the route where you guys keep paid to manning. So the route where you keep the Nats, so you're at 565, now you still the power. Now you want to sell paid to manning. Now remember, paid to manning goes for 375. But at that current value, his training value is 28 coins per, which is extremely low. Most likely when the promo ends and they convert him from bats to training, he should go up even more. So I anticipate you'll probably sell him for like 530, 540. So if you wait till then, you could probably sell him for about 410. Well, I'm gonna go 5, 430, 440, but with the reduction, it'll probably come down to about 410. So let's let's estimate you sell him for about 410 coins, 410,000 coins. Now, with this method where you get the Nats for cheap, you have 155K left to debt. So for first off, for 155K, you have Frederick, Sue, and Ward. You have 392 overalls for 155K. That's a steal. It really is. Now there's two ways you can go about this, right? So you can cut it there and just say 155K, three Nats, I'm happy. Now, if you really want to really make some coin, so to really get them for close to free here, if not for free, I recommend selling Sue. That's personally one that I don't like from the bunch. Now, if you quick sell Sue, he quick sells for about 22,500 coins, right? Remember that, 22,500 bats, sorry. So now you come over to the store, you come over to the set most feared, and you're gonna wanna do this one right here, then 77 to 81. So the 77s go for about 1.9K. That's like the worst pull. Like the worst pull is literally like 1.9, 1.8K. So let's, let's remember, there's 155,000 coins worth that you need to still make up to make these two, to make the carts free. So. I'd recommend selling Sue, but you can pick anyone you want, whichever one you don't need, or you can keep them all, but to make this free, you need to sell this one. So that is 22,500 divided by, let's see, 565. So you can do this pack 39.8 times. So we're going to round to 40, obviously. It's literally 0.1.8. It's 0.18 off. So we're going to round to that so we can open this 40 times. So if you get the worst pull, like literally the worst pull at 1.8K, we'll round, well, no, it's 1.9, but we'll go to like 1.7K, just in case that with reduction everything, 1.7K times 40. That's 68k. So in that case, you would be making. Let's see. In the, if you got literally the worst thing every single time, you would be making closer to about 70k, just about. So you'd be left with about 70k left. You would have spent about 70k, plus what you get from the nat players. So 70k, and you get to keep the two nat players. So you get Denzel Ward and Frederick for 70k. Now remember. That's if you're impatient with Peyton. If you really wait for Peyton and you wait for the power-ups and everything, you could potentially sell them for more. If you want to use the bats, you want to risk it with other things, you could. But for my personal sake, that's how I'm going to go about it. Now, that's if you get the worst pull. Now, if you get decent pulls, I'm going to round, I'm going to round that you probably get about 2 to 3K per. Let's go with 2.8K because 1.7 is not going to happen. Times that by 40, 112K. Now, it would have cost you about 30K to get all the nets. Everything's pretty much damn near free at this point. And that's, and that's again, even medium. If you get some pretty good pulls like the 81s, Realistically, this could average out to about 3,500 coins per, which I don't know if it will, but that's what it could round out to. And that would be about 140,000, which would about break, even depending on what you sell Peyton for and the power-ups. So this one's pretty good. And this is the Peyton set, right? So you get a lot better players than the Ray Lewis one. Now, let's go over the Peyton Manning route. The Peyton Manning route's a little bit different because obviously you have to get rid of some of the Nats. Now, the Peyton Manning route's where you get Peyton Manning for cheap. So at this rate, remember, you pick one of the other Nats, you end up with having to buy two that come out to about, let's see, what was it, 580? 580,000, let's put that on the calculator real quick. So you end up with three nats and paid money. So you can sell his power up again, which is 15,000 less. So you're at 565. Now, you'd want to quick sell pretty much all of them. If you quick sell all of them, right? So you're at 565K. You, to get this paid money for cheap, you want it for less than 375, obviously, because that's what he goes for. So you quick sell all of them. If you don't want any of them, you just want paid money. You go over to this store again and you go to do this set one more time the 77 to 81 now you're gonna open this let's see you're gonna have 22 22,500 bats times three because you have three of them 67,500 bats you divide that by 565 you can open this pack about 120 times so at the worst possible pull at 1.7 you'd make 204,000 coins you subtract 204,000 coins from the 565 and you end up with about 400 ish k so that's not cheap but again you're not gonna get the worst pull i'm giving you guys the worst like worst possibility you get paid manning for his value that's worst possible pull but it's not gonna happen let's let's again average that you're gonna get about 3k worth of value times 120 that is 360,000 coins you subtract that you're getting paid manning for about 200k 
if not less depending on your pulls and remember that's just i'm giving you guys like worst scenarios here so you guys in a second only go it can only get better from there it all depends on your luck and now remember with that being said if you get paid money for 200k and you hold them throughout the most great promo until when it's training flip happens you could potentially sell them for 200k plus so you either make profit with paid money or you keep two nat cards for the price of almost free if not free depending on what you pull again if you pull the right stuff you don't really have to get lucky guys you don't have to like literally just if you pull average you're gonna get them two two nat cards for free by selling paid manning and quick selling one of the nats and selling his power up and then the other way you get paid manning for about 200k and you get to sell them for a lot more either initially you could just make 160 sell them right away you could wait make about 200k you gotta make coins or you can get the nats i personally went with the nats that i really did want frederick and i wanted uh denzel ward and sue i don't know what i'm done doing with sue i might just end up selling him and going along with this but that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If this does help you guys out, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys plan to do. If you're on the Peyton route or the Nat route. And make sure to subscribe. Come join the family, guys. You won't regret it. All your daily Madden, all your daily Madden video, guys. You know where it's come. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.